Hello everybody, I am doing this day one of my uh, trying to get rid of my cyanobacteria after a lot of some tank issues the last few weeks. That's why I haven't been putting a lot of videos on here, but things are improving. So this morning, um, a couple hours ago, I went ahead and used this standard measuring cup. And here, here's the product, which is the, I like the Boyd products, uh, which is the ChemiClean. Um, and it's, it comes in a little, uh, I did the, got the two gram size. Uh, one comes in a little container and it's just powder. And it comes with a little spoon right here, as you can see, to measure. One spoonful per 10 gallons. And you mix it in a cup of aquarium water and you disperse in your aquarium. I leave my protein skimmer on, but I take out my carbon. Um, but you have to take out the carbon. So, and then you want to make sure you have plenty of aeration at the top of your tank, as you can see. I got my power has pointed there and I have my MP40 uh, working as well. So you want to make sure you have plenty of uh, surface movement because it does decrease the oxygen in your aquarium. Um, and while we're talking about Boyd products, I want to talk about the Chemi Pure Blue line, which I absolutely love. That's all I use in my tank and I have for years. Um, so I use uh, two pouches, which is kind of a little bit overkill for my size tank, but uh, one pouch treats up to... Uh, 100 gallons and it's it's nice because it comes in just a regular uh, mesh it's already in a, a nylon uh, mesh bag for you a media bag it's already in there you don't have to do anything just give it a quick rinse and stick it in a high flow area of your tank so um, that's what I prefer to use so here's my aquarium today and this is a few hours after I added the chemi clean nothing is really seems to be effective whatsoever um, my tank is now, and officially, I have nine wrasses in this tank, and that's the only kind of fish I have in the tank. Um, I had uh, lost a couple, uh, you know, lost an angelfish and a, a Midas Blenny and things like that, so um, I just have nine wrasses. That's it. It's just officially nothing but wrasses. Um, you know, I love wrasses, and I'll talk more about that on another video, but... Um, I've seen them in the ocean in Mexico, I, and that's when I fell in love with them before I even had a saltwater aquarium several years ago, and I absolutely love the guys. Um, they, they really do well for me. Everybody's different, but for me, out of all the years of having a saltwater tank, wrasses have been the least uh, problematic of any species, including angelfish, tangs, blennies. Grasses, I can always count on, you know, if you get them from a good, reputable source. I never buy uh, fish online at all, especially wrasses. The, the key to a wrasse is to make sure they're eating at, aggressively at the fish store. If they're not, then don't buy it. So mine always have been, um, and they they just, they do, they do really good in my tank. And so... Um, yeah, I think I'm probably just stick with these guys for a while. I wouldn't mind um, eventually at some point adding another, uh, like a dwarf angel, maybe a flame, or maybe a coral beauty. But as for now, um, I'm just happy with my wrasses. There's a little tyke right there. A little guy, he's probably maybe an inch big. He's just a baby. So a little baby Melagris leopard wrasse. I'm trying to, uh, I'm going to try to raise him. My other Melagris in here. Uh, was about that size when I got him, and now he's uh, d more than doubled in size. But there's no aggression at all, and there's my potter's wrasse, who eats from my hand, and I'm going to have to have a video on that because nobody will probably believe me. But he does. He's like a pig. Um, there's the other, yeah, there's the other uh, Melagris right there, and I raised him from uh, just about that size. Um, you can see him kind of going in and out of a hole. Um, my anemones appear to be getting better, so I'm hoping, there he is there, and he was the size of that other little guy when I got him, so there's one anemone, and I, like I said, these guys I've been having to hand feed, uh, to get them, uh, healthy again, so he's, they're starting to, starting to come back, so keep my fingers crossed. So we'll just get this uh, cyanobacteria taken care of and we should be good. I'm hoping one treatment does it. You can do two treatments after 48 hours. You have to do a 20% water change, which I have been doing once a week anyway. Um, so that's what I'll be doing on Sunday. But I'll keep everybody posted on the progress. 
uh, with more videos. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.